Uh, so we're in Monticello, Utah right now. We're on the eastern side of the state, uh, a little south of Moab, and we're heading over to Bears Ears National Monument today. And thankfully, just as we're driving by on the way to Blanding, which is where we're gonna turn over to get into the actual monument itself, we found a little field office here. And I went inside, talked to a nice young lady, and look at all this information she gave us. This is so good because so many of these national monuments that are run by the BLM, which is the Bureau of Land Management, are not marked very well, which is kind of good because they're sort of unmanaged and untamed, and you can really get out and see things the way they always were and do some solid exploring on your own. But because of that, you really sort of need to know what you're doing to make sure you use your time wisely. How's that for a map, guys? Look at this thing. Look at this. I got that. Look at this, we got like a magazine here. And we got a park staff as well. You guys ready to go to Bears Ears? Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. We got all the information we need. No wonder we couldn't get a closer spot. See, you have the line here. <laughs> I think it's her car right there. I could easily move that if you guys want me to. <laughs> You're talking about picking it up. That lady gave you a strange look there. It wasn't her. That wasn't her car though. We were told by these folks you're at the wrong end, Tim. I'm at the wrong end? Yeah. Uh, Actually, we weren't the wrong end. We were just trying to cut in front of them. That's all it was. You made some sandwiches for you guys. Pulled over. I think I've heard of this place before, but I've never seen it. Just right off the road. Really cool location called Wilson Arch. Um, we're gonna get the drone up in the air get some footage of this and maybe walk up and get a closer look but what a beautiful little hidden gem here John and I are gonna hustle up and try to get up in the arch itself and see if we can get some closer shots of us with the drone flying through the arch man this is steep you all right I'm out of breath I gotta take a break all right breaks over let's keep going It's gonna run out of battery life on that drone if we take too long getting up here. All right, we're getting close. Johnny boy, this was worth the trip in and of itself just today. If this is all we did. Amazing, huh? This is amazing. Wow, you check this out. Look at that. just off the side of the road. Um, easy to get up here and just a great viewpoint. Just the vastness of everything. You can hear Andrew with the drone, great <laughs> drone shots. Uh, and uh, just kind of getting a little bit of all the different types of rock formation. You got some over there. We're literally standing in the arch right now. You got some mountains with some uh, snow capped on the top there. Just a little bit of everything. Completely surprised. Awesome spot, Wilson, Wilson's Arch. Check it out. Remember that shot that you flew kind of right by my face? Yeah. You were literally inches away oh, from giving me a closer shave this morning. <laughs> I actually, I backed up a little bit because I thought it might actually hit me. That's where I need, I need you guys to be talking to me on the walkie-talkie, saying back off a little, you're, you're getting too close. <laughs> oh, 
All right, take a slow, John. You got snow and rain and sleet coming down right here. Whoa, look at this. You're going downhill, John. Yeah. Take it slow. I knew we'd have some cooler temperatures out here, but I was not expecting snow. <laughs> wow. You got your mittens back there, Tim? Yeah. This is an adventure. This is what it's all about, guys. Being prepared to expect the unexpected. The surprises. The stories you can bring home to your kids, Andrew. All right, gentlemen, so we're looking at um, 37 degrees. We're approaching our National Monument. Rain, sleet, snow coming down with sweatshirts on. Good day for hiking. We are heading right into that storm. How's that looking? So we're at Mule Canyon right now. You can see we drove in as far as we can. Got to do the rest on foot. We are starting our trail right now. Our destination is the house on fire. Up to the Pueblos. You can see, here they are right behind me, and you can also see how it gets its name, House on Fire. It's like flames above the top. Out here all by ourselves, the walkout was great. The Pueblos are fascinating. I can imagine this was a great spot for the Native Americans to build an ancient dwelling. You have obviously shelter right above you, natural shelter. A lot of vegetation here, so I'm sure the hunting was good, maybe even the farming was good as, as well. And then you have a, a stream that would provide fresh water for you. That's probably only about 30 yards away from your house, but uh, pretty neat place. And again, I just wanna say, if you come out to a place like this, please respect these artifacts. Don't take anything, for the most part, don't touch anything. Just take your pictures, leave your footprints, move on and let other people behind you enjoy it. Oh! Hey! Oh man! Look who we just ran into. That's right. Our YouTube friend, Mr. Robert Ward. There All he is. All the way from San Diego. Drove All it on right, out. Brother. I didn't think we get to see you this early. I thought we'd have to wait till Natural Bridges. So I get to be in two of your videos, and you get to be in two of mine, so. You've been, you've been stalking us, haven't you, huh? It's a bonus, yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, good see sounds you. good. Hey, let's plan this out. Maybe we'll jump in, do a site together here at Bears Ears. Let's do it. And then we'll do uh, Natural Bridges after that. You got it. All right, buddy. We're thousands of miles from home, and they watch America's parks. 
They're good people. Man. That's crazy. They have good taste. They have yeah. Good taste. I feel like I'm more excited about it than you are. After spending a day here, Bears Ears is really an incredible national monument. Sadly, it's almost impossible to speak of this place without generating some controversy. Advocates, it seems, nowadays are lining up in all directions as to how this land should be appropriated. You know, I'm all in favor of passion, but I hope the day will come and we can sit down with each other and quit demonizing our opponent, respect another viewpoint, and come to decisions that are reasonable based more on facts than the manipulation of sheer emotion. It was President Theodore Roosevelt as you know, a great lover of our national lands, who at times found himself in disagreement with John Muir as he battled that delicate balance between development and conservation. It's an unavoidable but a complicated struggle that we must all face with truth and reasonable dispositions. You know, I believe most people are getting very tired of trying to politicize every single situation nowadays. I think I'll save my controversial comments for the pulpit every Sunday morning. And as for this YouTube channel, I want to devote it to what I think most people desire, what I desire, what my family desires, just reality, simplicity, courtesy, enjoying the beauty of nature, inspiration, celebration of family and friends, sheer entertainment, and finding pleasure in the precious life each one of us is given by our Creator.